Hi, this is Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic, here with another episode of the MedicCast TV weekly commentary. And every week we come back here on a Friday and leave a tip for you, a comment, a suggestion, some whatever is occurring to me, Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic, each week. And of course, you can find other videos like this one over at MedicCast.tv. So, what's in this week's? commentary or a tip? Well, it's actually a tip segment. You know, a lot of people are starting back to school, EMS students returning to classes, and I thought I would bring up one of the most important tips I uh, use all the time right now. Um, a lot of you have one of these, um, either an iPhone or an iPod Touch. This is my iPhone. Uh, or you might have an iPad if you're lucky enough to have one of those. That'd be fantastic. But um, there's a neat program on here, one of the applications you can download called iBooks. It's absolutely free. It's provided by Apple. And it was it will allow you to read books right on your device. Even better, if you import an, a PDF file, any PDF file, into iTunes, it will let you sync that with your device. So you just drag a PDF file over your iTunes library, and it will go ahead and import that PDF file. Then you can go into your sync panel and go ahead and let it select that book. You go ahead and click the checkbox next to that PDF file, and it's now showing up on your device. And um, the cool thing is, of course, um, let me see if I can bring it up here. Did it? There's my iBooks library, right? And those are all PDF files. I don't read books on there, but what I do read is this one right down here a lot. It's my Maryland Medical Protocols. How cool is that? So I urge you to use devices like this. There are similar PDF readers available for the Android phones and most of the smartphones out there. But you can carry your protocols right around in a device in your pocket and review them whenever you have a spare moment. And so I would urge you to pick up a reader like this, whether it's the iBooks application for the iPods and iPhones out there, or if you're looking for something like a a PDF reader on your Android phone or your BlackBerry. There are other applications out there. But use these tools. Then you don't have to carry things around with you like heavy, bulky textbooks. A lot of textbooks right now are coming out with PDF versions or online versions. So you can access those versions via a web browser on your portable device. So utilize these tools. Save yourselves some time and energy and make use of some great technology out there. I'll be back again every week with some commentary or tips just like this one. And you can subscribe to the MedicCast TV weekly commentary in iTunes or the Zoom Marketplace. You can also find the MedicCast TV over at MedicCast.tv.